it's like in the next hour, shall we? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain and our own perception of the world. I can't make this stuff up. Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, he wanted a simpler life. And he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre though. Thwaites co-won an IG Nobel Prize for biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. <laughs> The IG Nobel Awards honor research that may seem bizarre <laughs> or amusing, but actually provokes thought. Kevin, I'm so scared. <laughs> Don't watch the video. Are you trying to read the script? <laughs> <laughs> it is good to have you back here. We're now over in Studio A, of course, uh, as we round up our Turkey Tip Hotline. And we have four experts here. They have been taking your calls for the last three days. Thank you guys so much for donating sure. your time That's to answer. Right. How many so questions great. have you gotten from callers so far? Well, over 200 tonight. Yeah, over 200, 200 tonight. tonight yeah. Hundreds throughout right. the week. And we right? actually yeah. have three change from the past two nights, so it's probably going to be close to that upper five mark. Wow! Wow! We're going to bring this. We're going to bring this mic over here. We're going to ask the chef here. I did 40 plus on the computer. Wow! Oh, you're emailing people too. Yeah, they email us and they, they right. did that. Chef, craziest question. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Okay, this is the. All right, one, okay, here's a crazy question. There's a couple of them. First of all, they just took the turkey out of the freezer. Three people just called me. They took it out just now. So is that a bad idea? I'm that's guessing. definitely bad. Strike one. Don't fry it either. No, don't fry it. Secondly, they put. Um, one little guy complained his wife was putting whiskey and wine while the turkey was cooking. Oh, wait a minute. What, did you get their numbers? No. <laughs> I'm going to their house. <laughs> Uh, he said she used a half a bottle of whiskey when she did the turkey. I said, hey, it's your problem. Biggest turkey uh, that you've got a call about? Matt had the biggest turkey. How many pounds? Matt had the biggest turkey. 38. 38 pounds. What is your favorite dish to cook personally, Chef? My favorite. Your favorite dish? He likes the whiskey. The whiskey? You like the whiskey? Actually, my like favorite dish, believe it or not, is hot dogs. Hot dogs. Is that a Thanksgiving dish? No, so I'm only talking about Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing a spatchcock style turkey, which I'm going to I'm completely disarming it and lay it down, and I'm going to deep fry another one. What would you? What, do you, what is that? A spatchcock? It's called spatchcock. Oh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Chef, help me out here, buddy. <laughs> Actually, it's a process that was found in England where they take and you, what you do is you cut up the backbone of the bird. There's a famous Italian chicken dish called chicken under a brick, yeah. where you compress it. This is the same thing. The only thing is you do it with a turkey. So I picked up a fresh turkey for buffonis, and I went right up the backbone with the scissors, took the backbone off, and I flip it back over and then compress it. All right, we're out of time. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving Happy from Thanksgiving, all of us. everybody. <laughs> Don't burn the turkey and not too much whiskey either, right? <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you. <laughs> Today in something matter, and no, it was not part of their act. The two elderly men crashed their minivan on their way to the local fair. The driver, 83-year-old James Billingsley, aka Dimples the Clown, collided. He missed the entrance, but when he tried to make a U-turn, he slammed right into an SUV. They're okay. Police say Dimples was wearing oversized clown shoes. But say that they did not play a role in the crash. <laughs> oh. Brian has been laughing for the past two minutes now. I can't believe you made it through that story. And nobody oh. was helping. The peso viene hace bastantes días en este rango. Subió el riesgo país 2,144 puntos. Muy poquito, dos puntos nada más con lo que respecta en la jornada del día de ayer. Y bajó el Merval, las acciones argentinas en nuestro país, un 1,7%. That's all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video.